The box tripods are too high. My chair is too low. Uh, there we go. Is that better? I'll show you guys what I'm attempting to film you on. That That is not what I'm trying to say. You're currently sitting on top of a Mel C. Spice Girls doll. Why not? Hello. Do you like some tiny ravioli? Oh, oh, oh. Tiny, tiny ravioli. It's not happening. It's not happening. Just imagine. I attempted to give you tiny ravioli. I'm back. I know I just had a video go up the other day. I pre-filmed that. It's like my second day back filming. Um, I have been sick for, I think, is this my 11th day of illness now? Maybe. I filmed a video the other day, but I'm still editing it, so... I may say the same thing twice, but I'm back, you guys. I've been super, super sick, can you tell by my voice? I feel like I'm sounding better, um, but you guys, like, the roughest part is I currently still cannot really smell or taste. Luckily for me, I can finally, like, taste my tea again. Sippy, sippy. Um, <clears throat> but you guys, uh, coffee right now. Did y'all hear that? That was very creepy. Y'all, that sounded like a door shutting. I'm here by myself right now, you guys. Yeah, what was I saying? Guacamole, the joy of food. It tastes very weird to me now. Um, but on the upside of things, I now am having these wildly vivid dreams. Did that happen to anyone else who has recently been ill? You guys, I swear, it's like... I had a dream dog man and I were eating broccoli and it was like I was crunching the broccoli in my sleep. It's like I was chewing on the broccoli and then I woke up and I had like drooled a giant pile of drool on my pillow. So it's as if I was like eating the broccoli. It was very, it was very fascinating. Yes. Um, so I'm slowly getting back into the swing of things. So really quick before we get started in this completely random video. I have to show you guys something else random. Who has been here since the time of this wallpaper? Do you guys remember like the wallpaper before time? It used to look like this. Sometimes I regret getting rid of this wallpaper. I really kind of like this, you know? It was a good wallpaper, but I saved a piece of it. And then I found it when I like kind of went through the contents of my car that I had not been in in a long time. I found a wadded up piece of wallpaper and I was like, you know what? Frameable home artwork. Moving on. Today's video, very random. But before my illness, I was doing like deep, deep, deep dive cleaning which now that I'm well again, I think it's time to like get back into that, you guys, because I need sincere organization. How many of you guys at home could guess that? Anyway, hey everybody, it's Bunny. I probably didn't say the intro. You guys, look at what I found. I can be like creepy Santa Claus with my spider sack. This is a bunch of stuff from Wish that I bought, I don't know how long ago. I'm pretty sure like when Wish was first a thing, you know? I kind of feel like nobody really talks about Wish anymore because we've all gone right on over to Timu. What is this stuff? Are we gonna be able to carbon date some of it? Why do I think that this is a fun and entertaining video, you guys? I don't know, it's random. It's almost like I'm taking you guys on a little bit of my cleaning journey with me. I feel like I should just show you guys when everything's like clean and organized, but let's find out what's in this and right on top what is it it's crefts is this clothing is this a dress is this gonna be a try on haul you guys oh it, it is it is a dress do you ever like look at something that you bought a while ago and you're like why why would I ever buy that? You know, it's just, it's very, it's very strange. But it does kind of remind me of this dress I had a long time ago, which I did not know at the time I bought it, that it was a knockoff Dolce & Gabbana dress. I used to wear it all the time. I'm pretty sure I did an outfit of the day with it. So it's kind of like that. I mean, I do like this kind of like classical artwork style, but there's a lot going on here. There's many different colors and patterns and I don't know. I don't know, you guys, I'll try it on. I'll try it on later, but you'll see the clip now. Um, all right, next, oh my God, yes. 
Okay, I still like these. Is there more of these in there? I feel like I vaguely remember now buying this and you got it as like a package deal. Like you couldn't just buy one fish pencil pouch. You had to have three, why not? I feel like I've used these before or like shown them in some kind of video long ago. But oh, look at it, it's a fish and it's a pencil pouch and I feel like I should use these now. What can I put in here? A single mascara, two pencils. Does my voice sound weird? I can't tell if, ah. Oh. We had one before that like actually looked like the inside of a fish. This one just has polka dots. Maybe the inside of this fish is polka dots and we just don't know it. Science hasn't told us that yet. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, I can't tell if I'm like hearing myself strangely because my head is still congested or if I'm sounding strange because my voice is still congested. Can anyone identify either of these fish? Guess now, does it have a polka dot? on the inside, I don't know. This almost looks like a, a tropical aquarium fish. I don't know that you would like package that and eat it, but I don't know anything about fish. Literally, this could be like the most normal fish and you'd be like, yes, that's the biscuit fish. We eat it every Friday. I, I don't know these things. I don't know. All right, um, up next, oh yes. Um, this is a thing now that I feel like has come and gone, it's had its moment. I feel like for a while, this was like the bubble wrap popping keychain. Have you guys seen those fidget keychains? I feel like when I seen it at the time, I was like, oh wow. How different, um, extrusion bean do not swallow. I'm sure you guys already literally know what this is. Cause as I've, as I've sort of ramblingly said, um, I feel like these, I feel like these have even had their moment at like Walmart and stuff. You guys, this is like, Oh, how do these work? I swear I've had some um, that are like a mochi kind of thing. I'm like hiding my face right now so you guys can focus on the beans. Look at the beans. This one is actually kind of the most satisfying one I've ever seen. The other ones that I've had before, they're almost in, they have like mochi squishies inside and then like the beans are in some kind of like gelatinous goo. It feels really sticky. And I feel like I had one before that I used to put in my purse sometimes and like it would just get a bunch of hair stuck to it. Not very satisfying. Um, but this one, like the beans are actually dry. You guys, how can I go on about this for so long? All right, you guys, this. Y'all remember, I feel like this used to be like the aesthetic thing to have in your bag. Um, <laughs> choking on my own spit. <sighs> Refreshing. Um, do you guys remember this? I kind of feel like this is still something that you would see in like an Instagram flat lay or something. Um, it's a flat water bottle. So it's meant to, you know, if you're like a student or something, um, a minimalist, which I am neither a student nor a minimalist. So how did this come to be in my possession? I don't know. Oh, look at this. I was quite apparently in my DIY era, which you guys, I feel like my eyes keep watering and like there's mascara everywhere. Um, wait, you literally just get one side? This makes no sense, you guys. I almost said a lush DIY, but you know, a bath bomb, but like literally what would you just do with one side? Was this a wish error from many years ago? Can anyone guess what year y'all think that this, I got this? This, what is this? Um, It's fuzzy, but it has a lid. It's a small, hair bottle with hair. You guys, look at that. Ooh, 725 2016, you guys. This does have a date on it. Next out of my Santa sack. What is this? An emoji <laughs> days of the week t-shirt. Monday, how do we feel on Monday? Monday, we're weeping. I actually love Monday. Monday is kind of a fun day of the week, but traditionally my favorite day of the week is Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, we're giving it the side eye. Wednesday, uh, Thursday, see we look pleased about Thursday. Friday, I'm in love. Um, Saturday, 
And then Sunday, what was I thinking? Ew, what is this? Thank you for usage. Oh my gosh. Which I kind of heard that that's like a thing now on the internet again, which was called like the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. And I've seen people like saying that's kind of coming back with like trying to plump your lips with like shot glasses and vacuum cleaners. Don't do that. But look at this. It's like you put your lips inside of it. It's, oh, okay. I can't like 100% smell, but what I can smell, um, this does not smell pleasant. I can hardly wait to see what this is gonna be. All right, what is this? Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, this looks like it was a real dress. Maybe I was thinking about doing like a real versus fake. It's another kind of like, um, you know, baby doll dress link, but I swear this looks like a wild fox. I think it was wild fox. It's a moon. It feels like that really like unpleasant fabric though, like polyester, um, which is my least favorite kind of fabric. It, it just usually doesn't like launder well and it feels like a Halloween costume, like a bagged Halloween costume. We've got another pencil pouch. This is actually kind of cute, honestly. Look, I should like shove paper in this so you guys can really see the form. Organic milk. You guys, I feel like the lighting in here is like kind of weird. Organic milk. Yum, yum. This is kind of cute, honestly. Definitely some real versus fake territory here. Do you guys remember this? I feel like this was like really popular, probably around 2016. It's one of those um, kind of adult coloring books where it's like the highly detailed pages. You guys, I went through a whole phase where I was like obsessed with these. And I kind of wonder why I stopped. So yeah, I feel like I definitely wanted to compare this because very obviously this is probably not gonna be the real thing on Wish. And oh my God, look, because it's like, it's like <laughs> a comic book or something. I don't know, it's super thin. That's so weird. I remember the real book being like really, like book sized. And you guys, do y'all remember? the loci bracelets. Um, it was supposed to have water from the highest point on earth, which I think was Mount Everest. And then inside the other bead, it was supposed to be mud or something from the lowest place on earth, which was like the Dead Sea maybe. But yeah, I have this real one. I wanted to do a comparison of like the real tie dye one with this fake one. But you guys, I feel like this was like literally back in the day when you could really get incredible dupes on like Wish and stuff. I don't ever like like buying fake items, but I do feel like it's fun to like show you guys. Like I miss making the real versus fake videos where like basically I knew I was buying fake things, but I just wanted us to kind of play a game and see like, could we guess which one's the real one, which one's the fake one? I've got a couple things that all look pretty similar. Let me see if I can grab them all at once. Oh, here's the camo loci yeah those are the two real ones i had i had the camo one and i had the tie-dye one. Oh my god you guys i literally can't believe i was in the middle of trying on these gorgeous outfits um when i looked behind me i found my real camo loci bracelet i like literally cannot believe so yeah look i should take it out of the packaging hello definitely like side by side it is so interesting i feel like once i take this tag off i would not know like that's what i'm saying this stuff is like so fascinating to me like how close it is and how you really can tell a little bit of a difference but once you had it like would you know you know what i mean like i feel like these colors are a little bit more like real camo whereas like this camo, like the brown color, I guess, is a little bit more of like a bright caramel. Like the colors are brighter on the fake one. So weird. And I've actually literally repurchased these items because they have these like basically on every type of website like this. And they're so cute. You guys know I love frogs. So it's two frog memo pads. They actually stick pretty well. Um, and I also have these, which these unfortunately don't stick as well, but they're like little frog. <laughs> 
tabs and I think I got like a set of two so I think I got the pandas with the frogs and then this maybe this came with the frogs or something he is really cute um it's a polar bear it appears we have three of the same things which I feel like now um it's a lot easier to buy like separate things but I feel like back in the day like wish you used to get like bundles of items does anybody else remember that time period um we've got cat bags do y'all remember these I feel like these were around forever and maybe they are still around um but I used to also have a really large tote bag that was a cat face that I think I got from like Romway or something does that site still exist you guys this is like one big flashback and oh my god you guys it's grumpy cats yeah I feel like this is honestly Maybe this was a knockoff too. I don't know. It does have an official label on it that says X dolls. Um, I feel like the first time I got one of those bags off of, it was, it was like Romway or something. I'm trying to like literally remember like way back in the day when I first like started YouTube. I'm pretty sure that was like one of the first brands that ever like sent me clothes or something. So I think the first time I got one of those big like canvas cat tote bags, I had no idea that it was like knocking off something. But now that I see that these have like all the tags and labels, um, Maybe this is fake, I don't know. We have a mochi squishy and this looks very dusty or something. Ew, this one like feels really nice. Normally these are like not my favorite kind just because like I keep saying they do get like really dirty usually. Um, but this one feels like really powdery and soft. I don't know. This one like actually feels like a nicer quality. This is hilarious because this is something that I still wear so much to this day and I literally can't believe they were like making a, a fake of this necklace. I wish I had the real one on me right now. Um, it's a fake Unif choker. This was called the Dame choker, I'm pretty sure, but I wear it all the time. And if you guys have watched my videos recently, like I clip like chicken legs to it, all kinds of funny stuff. I clip to it. But this is like the mini version of that. Like the rings are smaller. Um, the necklace is much smaller. But other than that, like to me, it's like highly recognizable. I mean, I'm sure there's like generic necklaces out there like this all the time. But I'm pretty sure that this was like directly trying to copy at the time. That's probably why I picked it because I wanted to do a real versus fake. There's no like fake branding or anything on it. I feel like that was a really popular necklace at the time. So that's probably like what they were trying to directly dupe. And you guys, what is this? Oh, it's another thing for real versus fake. Oh my God. Is there like a logo on this? There's not. Do y'all remember when this was so popular? The NARS um, makeup brush. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of more what you see now, uh, which is why I feel like I have not done a real versus fake in a long time. It used to be like more fun to compare when you would get the packaging as well, because then I could like really show the whole thing. Oh, this feels like sticky. Y'all remember though when this like look and shape of brush was super, super trending. There was like a summer I feel like when everybody was like obsessed with this brush. It was a really good brush. I don't know if they still make it or not. We have special version, my little friend, stickers. I don't recognize this character or anything. How would I have ever like ordered this? You know what I mean? It's cute, don't get me wrong, but it just like doesn't really look like something that I would have bought. Is this the same? No. Okay, it is really cute. There must be like a sheet of stickers with frogs or something on it. These are really cute though. Pony Brown. Is this real? You guys, sometimes I really don't know. It does get a little bit confusing because um, I know that there are a lot of real brands that sell on websites like Wish and AliExpress and everything. So sometimes it's like really hard to distinguish if something is truly real or fake. I feel like kind of the only time you can tell is if it's like a low high bracelet at the height of its popularity that's being sold for like 60 cents, you know? I feel like then you know it's fake. But like stickers or other small stationary items, 
Like, I just, I wonder, you know? I don't, I don't feel like we'll ever know. Um, all right, you guys. Definitely, though, something um, that is fake that we do know is a fake Tamagotchi. Um, Tamagotchi connection. And I'm not sure if this is duping an exact colorway or something. I don't know if this would turn on. I'm kind of, oh, look, the little, the little tag is still in it. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look at the, oh, is this our pet? What is that, a chicken? I want a chicken panda. What is that, a whale? A alien? A lion, that's, that's a dragon. Oh, a hedgehog. You guys, I'm kind of curious, like how fun is that? How long does it live? I don't know. And we have another thing that I wanted to probably know at the time if it would work but also I just thought it would be cute as a keychain um, cause it does have a little keychain attachment. It's a tiny, tiny camera that is supposed to work somehow and shoot HD photographs. You guys, this is wild. Look, a spot for a card and you can charge it. It came with a charging cord. And there is a button, that's wild. You can't see anything though. I thought, oh, it's just gonna work with like a little viewfinder because I did get a real one of these cameras not long ago from Amazon Japan. I just thought it would be like super fun. So I kind of thought, oh, you could be able to see, no, you can't, you can't see anything. But it does come with a camera strap and a little um, keychain thing. Maybe I should see if I can like take some pictures with this and like show you guys on my daily snap or something. I'm kind of curious, I don't know. Two, two megapixels. Something that actually feels like a high quality fabric. Like I'm really shocked. This definitely feels more like some kind of cotton blend and it's just a tie dye. How did I come to get a midriff? shirt though. I feel like we're kind of still living in the cropped era, you guys. Will we ever get full length t-shirts again? I don't know. I feel like I've been saying that for as long as I've been making videos that like, why is everything cropped? All right, you guys, last thing. Once again, what was I thinking when I got this? This does not look like something I would pick. What? What was my intentions with this? I don't know. It's like a sparkly sequin, like, oh my God, it's a bodysuit. You guys, really, what was I thinking? Literally, joke is on me. Why do I like this? It actually fits like kind of well. I don't know where ever in my life, what in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, when am I ever gonna need a full sparkly bodysuit? But it is kind of cute, you guys. It is kind of cute. Let me know, do you like it? Do you like it? Um, the back is like definitely, like, I don't know, you guys. I just got done trying on all the clothes and some of it, like the quality actually shocked me. It actually felt like better when it was on, like the moon dress and the goofy, where did it even go? The days of the week like emoji shirt. Like it actually felt, I, I'm not gonna say it's cotton, but it is like probably a higher quality poly blend, which I know maybe I sound silly when I'm saying stuff like that, but literally you guys, I'm always thinking about clothes and stuff, no matter where I buy them from. Like I do like for them to last. Like I really don't buy anything thinking like I mean unless I'm like specifically buying it for a video or something but I don't ever really like to think of clothing as like disposable do you know what I mean but I like for it to still be high enough quality fabric where I can still wear it many many years later like for instance I still have t-shirts and stuff that I got from Forever 21 more than 10 years ago and I still wear it like once a week as pajamas or something. That's why I'm always like kind of particular about fabrics, like the actual like fabric fibers. Um, Cause if it is something like cotton, you can like literally just keep it forever. And it definitely gets that more like thrashed worn in look that I like. But if something is like a poly blend, it's probably not gonna hold up that well in the wash. That's it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this blast from the past. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. 